Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so this is where we left off. Uh, actually, um, the HTTP post method of the update student record. Um, so we actually left off here. So for you to update the student, you actually have to get the DB instance dot entry. You pass the student dot state equals to entity dot entity state dot modify. That is going to actually modify the record that you're trying to pass through, passing here right okay um i think there's still one more thing you have to do you have to do a get i think so so you have to do a get actually no no, no. you have to do a get her right here so you have to do a get for the record that you want to you want to um that you're trying to update okay equals to db basically you just have to do this all right do this okay and then just remove this one here all right model dot id Okay. All right. There's still one more thing to do now because you're passing this ID here. You need to make sure that this model contains the ID. So we need to go back to our um, index um, in the student student update student uh, view, and we need to use this inside here. We need to use hidden variable HTML. Dot hidden. Actually, I, want, I like to use the hidden for, so I can actually just dot hidden for this one equals to x going to x dot id. Okay, so that's that's gonna actually post this id along. So we're gonna see that in a minute how that works. Okay. So that posts it along, and then we get this student. So we, I want to update the record for this particular student with this ID. Okay. So we we'll come here. Um, first name. If first name changes, put it here. Last name changes, put it here. Anything that changes, just put it right there, and then modify that entity state, and then save changes, and then redirect back to um, the view. So as usual, I just want to put a breakpoint here. So if it's so we can actually ins inspect how everything is going all right so let's try this let's try our update student record loading up all right so I want to update this student record the first one notice notice how it has when I hover here notice how right here it has the the ID student ID as one okay student ID as two student ID as three you know that is very important okay so I'm going to update this record okay so now it pulls the first student how does it know how to pull the first one is because of that the ID that will pass right we pass the ID I'm going to update this department for John Doe this department to be medical medical sciences okay so once we save it it should update this department to medical sciences Okay, so we have this guy. Once more, we let's inspect the model that we are passing. So you see, it passes everything to us, and now we are now going to get the. Okay, so pulls the record for John Doe's from database, and then we need to update this record from the database, from here into the database. Okay. 
modifier it save changes correctly and then it just goes back so this has been updated to medical science as you can see now I'm going to take off this breakpoint so we can actually walk um, it's going to see exactly what we're doing directly I'm going to update the third one okay uh, from I want to change his last name to Gordon okay I want to change his department to anatomy so like human and not human anatomy okay that's his department I'm gonna save it all right let's see the third one is last name has been changed to Gordon's department is human anatomy all right so that's how you actually update a record um, in MVC ASP.NET MVC and entity framework so this tutorial is actually meant to be entity framework but because I'm using ASP.NET MVC I'm actually teaching how to use entity from um, MVC as well like MVC the views and the controllers how to use all those things as well I hope this video was really helpful to you if you like what you see if you, if you enjoyed watching this video please subscribe to my channel and uh, please tell your friends about my channel thank you uh, so actually uh, I think we should implement the details as well so the next video is going to be the details uh, how to view the details and that I think is going to be the final video so thank you very much guys for watching this video please subscribe to my channel thank you thank you thank you